you spread your legs a little bit and wrap them around the pole there and slide on up. Okay. This is for the mastoid, right? This is for, for, this is for mastoids or uh, uh, mastoid air cells, tips, or preacher's portions, depending on whether or not you use a lot of zoomies or not a lot of zoomies. All right. Now, what I need you to do is I need you, this is that three-point landing thing, guys, right? Nose, cheek, and eyebrow. And this is the one that automatically, on the average individual, gives you about that 45-degree rotation just by those three points of the body touching the image receptor, right? So uh, I want you to, let's let you use the left side. We're going to nose, eyebrow, and cheek, left side. I don't want you to put it right around the X. Nose. Don't, yeah, don't forget the nose. There we go. Nose, cheek, and eyebrow. Now, if you look down here, that's about a 45 degree. No sweat, no strain. It automatically falls in place. So now at this point, all I need is a, a cephalic tube angle, 12 degrees. Now, <clears throat> remember what the description was. From the outboard EAM, three inches posteriorly. Uh, poor description. <clears throat> Take, a four, take that same 45 degree angle, go 45 degrees from that ear hole, three knuckles, one, two, three knuckles, and down a half inch, and it puts us right here, okay? And if you feel, that's her mastoid, that's her mastoid tip right there. You can just grab a hold of it, okay? So that's where you want the crosshair. That's where we're going to go with the crosshair, right there. So we're going to bring this down a little bit. We bring her over. So that this is going right through the mastoid. Right through there. Nose, cheek, and eyebrow. Nose, there we go. And we can collimate down. So this is, oh, 12 degree tube angle. Lord have mercy, Hudson, get it squared away, son. There we go. So just grab a hold of the mastoid. You can actually palpate it, grab a hold of it, make sure that that is the thing that's most prominently sticking out in the beam. 